So there's a lot of misconceptions about large language models. They almost kind of treat it as this mysterious thing that has sentience. And you can kind of tell in the way that people prompt them and the techniques that have come out for prompt engineering. I think that going forward, it would help you a lot to think about large language models as mathematical functions. Now, if you remember your math back in the day from school, you'll remember that a mathematical function is simply just something that takes an input and then does something to that input. So there's some mathematical manipulations like additions, maybe, maybe some multiplications, and then returns an output. And that's all we're doing with large language models. The difference here with this type of mathematical function, though, is that instead of just writing it out like we did when we were writing math in school, the mathematical function is learned from data. And then the other part to it is that this particular mathematical function has billions of parameters. So you've got large language models, the smallest of which have around 1 billion parameters. And some of the larger ones that we have seen can have hundreds of billions of parameters. In fact, it's rumored that GPT-4, the engine behind ChatGPT, has over a trillion parameters. So it would help to think about large language models as mathematical functions rather than these kind of sentient beings that are capable of creative thinking.